Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we will discuss about how do metals and known metals react. Okay. <clears throat> so in the metals, let's say we have sodium, Na, magnesium. Mg, aluminium, Al, <coughs> potassium, K, and calcium, Ca. Okay. So, as you know, the atomic number of sodium is 11, magnesium is 12, aluminium 13, potassium 19 and calcium again 20. So it has 2, 8 and 1 electron in the outermost shell or you can say in the M shell. So students I hope that you know that K, L, M are the shells. K, L, M, N, N. Okay. So similarly in this 2, 8, 2 and in this 2, 8, 3 but in case of potassium it is 2, 8, 8, 1. Okay. So 2 plus 8, 10 plus 8, 18 plus 1, 19 which is in the N shell it has only one electron. Okay. And similarly for calcium I can write 2882 and it is also in the N shell. So these are the four shells in which the electrons uh, means are filled. Okay. Similarly, in case of known metals, known metals, let's say it is nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Fluorine, Phosphorus, Sulphur and Chlorine. Okay students, so the atomic number of Nitrogen is 7, Oxygen 8, Fluorine 9, Phosphorus 15, Sulphur 16, so similarly we will find out the number of electrons in the outermost shell of this is 2 5 this is 2 6 2 7 2 8 5 this is 2 8 6 and this is 2 8 7 so now we will check how the reaction gonna take place okay so I hope that this is pretty clear to you guys that the number of electrons in the outermost shell in case of nitrogen it is in K shell it is 2 electrons in L it is 5 only okay so now we will see when metals and known metals react what happens okay let me first arrange this so student we have sodium atom here okay so as you know that it is its atomic number is 11 and the electron in the outermost shell is 1 okay so what it gonna do is it lose this electron here okay so this is the sodium cation sodium cation okay now comes to chlorine so as it has 287 means so it captures the electron from the sodium atom and it forms Cl ion anion which is 288 this is chlorine anion okay so this or you can show it like this so it has 7 and it has only one uh, electron in the outermost shell so it comes here and it forms a bond with Na 
so like this is n a plus and this is c l minus so this is how we can show that or also in this way the this electron is here and this so this is a bond formed between sodium chloride so student this is how metals and non metals reacts with each other okay and we can take one more example let's say second example in which magnesium it has 2 8 2 electrons okay so it loses and formed mg2 plus plus 2 electrons okay and it is magnesium cation okay so similarly cl it gains one electron and form cl ion or you can say chlorine anion chloride anion anion okay so when mg has two electrons and cl ion has only let's say there are two cl ion so one cation goes to here and one electron goes to here and it forms mgcl2 okay students so it is magnesium chloride this is how the reaction takes place between metal and a non metal okay students so i hope that you guys are pretty clear about the reactions between metal and non metals and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there okay and in the next lecture we will study about occurrence of metals how we get to know about metals how the metals are attracted okay what are the ores of metals so this we will discuss in next lecture students so stay tuned for the next lecture on occurrence of metals thank you happy learning